We saw a pretty clear debate in philosophical points on the economy and the debate between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Donald Trump argued for a supply side approach, cutting the taxes on business and allowing them then to free up capital and invest and create more jobs and hire more people and theoretically bring capital back from overseas back to the country here, their own country, where they can take advantage of U.S. infrastructure, roads, and work ethic and education levels compared to those in the other countries where they send jobs to now to take advantage of the lower taxes. That's Trump's argument in large part. Hillary Clinton, no, we have to grow from the middle out. If we put more money into education, put more money into job training, and help the lower middle class and the middle class get ahead, then they will command those jobs. It's demand side economics. In a way, it's sort of like build the road and the businesses will show up around the road like they built show up around the railroad back in the 1800s. In other words, you spend money, government is the key to economic action. You steer capital in a direction with public investment and, there, and the money will come. You could argue that about the GI Bill, led to two million college degrees after the war. Some of those people who were receiving that government money and that support were conservative Republicans. They served their country, they qualified the GI Bill. It's demand side. With Trump and his brethren, it was about cutting the taxes, freeing up the top, so the top will then invest their money the way they want. That doesn't always work. There is a third way that somebody should talk about, uh, and that is the Tom Pocken way, who was in charge of the Texas Workforce Commission. He, should, he wants to bring manufacturing jobs back, capital back, by simply eliminating the corporate income tax, which we get 10% of our revenue from anyway. People get around it in so many ways with all the loopholes, all the credits they get from Congress who are on the take, and the corporate share of the, pay, share of the payroll tax, which hurts small businesses. You replace that with a 9% value added tax on all domestic producers, and if you export to other countries, you get a credit against that tax. So you have an incentive to manufacture, and countries who left have an incentive to come back. We need a big idea, and we're not getting that from Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump in the economy, and we've got to do something soon or we're all going to just remain stagnant or go backwards. My two cents. My two minutes, brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can read your kitchen, your bathroom, your basement, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. We'll talk about this and more on Monday at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. See you then.